Mothers crying. On February the 2nd, Father Oliviera woke up at 4.04 in the morning after a terrible nightmare. Here's what he dreamed of. In a large dark place, like an abandoned hangar, the priest was on a kind of stage. Before him was a crowd of women, all of them dressed in the most varied ways, rich and poor, holding babies in their arms. All, without exception, cried compulsively. He thought, this is the Lord showing me the many abortions in the world. Then a voice which he couldn't tell where it came from said to him, it's not about abortions, despite the fact that abortion is a very big evil. The children here have been born. One of the women who was close by looked at the priest with tears in her eyes. He asked her, why are you crying? Without saying anything, she just opened the small blanket that wrapped her son and showed him. The child was deformed. His feet and arms were crooked and his body shape was strange. The other women began to show their children as well. All of them revealed some similar problem in their babies. I do not even try to interpret this revelation. However, if you see something similar happen, remember the most important part. Our Lady of Tears and Baby Jesus will be with all these anguished mothers. Seeing that one of them was with an apparently perfect child, the priest asked, This one looks good. Why are you crying? She then said something that made him feel immense anguish. He has something wrong inside. Suddenly, the priest saw the image of the Virgin Mary hovering above all the mothers. She had baby Jesus in her arms and they were both crying. Their tears fell like a rain of light on these mothers. Then the dream ended. Our Lord promised in the Sermon on the Mount that those who mourn will be blessed, for they will be comforted. All mothers who moaning and crying resort to God and his mother of mercy will be united to them and will be consoled by their holy tears. Let us pray and fast so that we know how to live through the coming ordeal and that it be mitigated by our penances. A request for prayers. I ask for prayers for Father Oliviera and for me, Lucas Gelazio. These are three new revelations with amazing content. We need discernment to talk about it in the way that most pleases God. Lucas Gelazio, Brazil. Who is Father Oliviera? I received an inquiry about Father Oliviera earlier today. It came through our friends at the Lepanto website, and that is the only reason why I took it seriously. I'm receiving lots of inquiries about Father Oliveira, and I thought that it was a good opportunity to deal with the public's curiosity on that subject. Both Lepanto and myself were fooled by a troll. The request was poorly organized and had some grammatical errors. So I'm not the only one writing in haste, I thought, and proceeded in good faith to answer the questions the best I could. What followed was an exchange with someone who proved to be not only ignorant, but somewhat mentally challenged. He seemed obsessed with finding out the location and identity of Father Oliviera. Following my response, the man proceeded to insist in his unreasonable request as if I was violating his civil rights or something. He threatened to call the Rio Grande do Sol Archdiocese, thus showing his ignorance of how huge that state is. Rio Grande do Sol has many archdioceses, hundreds of parishes, etc. He also ignored that the surname Oliveira is very common in Brazil. Besides that, we all know Father Oliveira is a pseudonym. I think the desire of Father to remain anonymous is understandable. He is just a priest who had the blessing of receiving a gift from heaven. 
he decided to let us know the message without revealing much about himself. He did not ask for donations. He did not ask for television interviews or radio broadcasts. In fact, he asked for nothing. Important note, this blog is not monetized. I do not solicit donations and I fund the expenses connected with publishing this blog from my own pocket. I have no intention of entering religious life, even less intention to enter politics or any similar and or connected activities. The purpose of this blog is to make friends in Christ while conversing about Christian ideas. I neither donate nor contribute to Father Oliviera or anyone associated with him. Father Oliviera, not his real name, decided to remain anonymous with the permission of his superiors. His prophecies are quite interesting, but no one is required to believe them. In fact, I presented the post with my words. I present to you, for your discernment, the visions and prophecies of Father Oliveira, a Brazilian priest who lives in Rio Grande do Sol, southern Brazil. Even if I had personal information about Father Oliveira, I would not give it to anyone. As it is, I do not have any information about him, and I am merely the man who translated his visions from Portuguese to English. I hope this post will put the matter to rest. May the 12th, 2023.